Aleluia. Thank you, Jesus. Aleluia. Amen. Aleluia. Amen. Aleluia. Aleluia. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Aleluia. Aleluia. Amen. Christ, our freedom. Is a freedom from sin, freedom from the sting of death, freedom from the law of the land, freedom from all the happenings in the world that could keep us gripped with fear. Romans 6 14 says, For sin we have no dominion over you, since you are not under the law, but under grace. Romans 6 22 says, but now that you have been set free from sin and have become slaves of God, the fruit you get leads to sanctification and its end, eternal life. Hallelujah. Amen. What can wash away my sin? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me all again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Oh, precious is the flow that make me white as snow. No other fount I know. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Nothing, nothing but the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you. Thank you for the blood that, has, that was shed on the cross of Calvary. We want to thank you for the sacrifice that you made with your life to set us free from the grip of sin and condemnation to death. Thank you. As we come on behalf of every citizen of the, of the world, of the nations, in repentance, in any way, form, or shape that we may have sinned to jeopardize our freedom, the one that you died for. Father, forgive us in the name of Jesus and wash us in your cleansing blood, make us all again, and grant us the gift of salvation in the name of Jesus. Freedom in Christ makes us new. We receive our, ourselves as new creations. The old is gone, and all things are new in him. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. John 8, 36 tells us, so if the son makes you free, then you are unquestionably, undeniably, and indisputably free indeed. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. We are free and new creations because the blood of Jesus has cleansed us from every unrighteousness. Amen. Hallelujah. I welcome everyone to the Powerhouse Hour. We thank God for this last Sunday in May and all that he has done for you and I, saving us from every evil that was, that was destined for each day of May. May his name be glorified. At PHH, we are non-titled ordinary citizens of heaven in partnership with the kingdom of God. Our mission, our sole mission, is to win souls for the kingdom. And to do that, we create a soaking room experience through worship and adoration of our God in a non-religious, non-traditional, and unconventional manner. Amen. And God, he himself promised that as we worship him, as we adore him, he will draw souls unto himself. So it's not for us to do the work. All he wants us to do is worship and adore him. And he will draw the souls unto himself. So by faith, we gather every Sunday between the hour of 3 and 4 p.m. Eastern time in obedience to the will of God. 
Hallelujah. If you're joining us or watching our broadcast at a later date, we pray that you feel the tangible presence of our God. Please like, subscribe, and share our video to reach the end of the world for Christ. Every nation touch, every heart change, and none left behind in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So today we are declaring we are declaring Christ as our freedom with liberty to be who he has created us to be. Freedom from sin and shackles of sin in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. From the shackles of sin. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So the core of Christianity is based on one man dying for each and every one of us. It's based on him going to the end of the world to free us from bondage of sin and death. But that freedom, it was not totally free for him because he paid with his own life. So that any one of us who believes in him, who confesses him as the Lord and Savior, will be saved and have access to eternal life. Hallelujah. Romans 8, 2 says, For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of sin and death. So we want to declare our freedom in Christ Jesus this afternoon. We declare his grace sets us free from the curse of the land, from the curse of the law, and from power of sin in our lives. We declare that as we submit ourselves to the leading and bidding of the Holy Spirit, we will walk away from everything that is sinful in our lives. We put on a new mantle of righteousness and holiness in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that we're not afraid, we're not worried, and we're not dismayed over our health, over our lives. We declare our freedom from illnesses and diseases in the name of Jesus, from bondage of terminal diseases, plaguing the lives of his children in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare our freedom from fear and worry over our safety. We declare his word to us in Psalm 91.7 that says over, over our going out and over our coming in. He says, though a thousand fall at our side, though ten thousands are dying all around us, these evils, he will not touch us because we are freedom in Christ Jesus Christ. And to top it all, we are saying, declaring Galatians 5.1, and it says, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. It is for freedom that he has set you and me free. So stand firm and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. We are no longer slaves because we are children of the most high. Hallelujah. And whom the father has set free is free indeed. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, Lord Jesus. Oh, Father, we come before you in adoration, in worship and thanksgiving. And we honor you this afternoon with our words. Hallelujah. We have made it so small in our eyes for our freedom from sin, from death, from sicknesses, from diseases, from troubles, from wars and rumors of war, from chaos all around us. But we want to say we're sorry. We are sorry because we know better. We know that you are able to do more than we could ever need from you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We have made you too small in our eyes. Oh, Lord, 
forgive us. And we are believing a lie that you, you are unable to help us. But now, O oh Lord, we see our own. Heal our hearts, heal our lands, heal our homes, and show yourself strong. And in our eyes and in our songs, O oh, our God. Be magnified, O oh Lord. Be magnified. Be magnified, O oh Lord. You are highly exalted and there is nothing 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 you cannot do oh lord how i say oh you be magnified oh lord be magnified, be magnified, O oh Lord. You are highly, highly exalted, and there is nothing you cannot do, O oh Lord our God. How high set there on you, O oh Lord, be magnified, O oh Jehovah, be magnified, O oh my God. Be magnified, O oh Lord. Be magnified. You don't have to worry. And don't you ever, ever be afraid. Joy comes, it comes in the morning. And troubles, they never last. For we have a friend in Jesus. We have a freedom in Christ Jesus. Kabo who we wipe away our tears. And if your heart is ever broken, all you just need to do, lift your hands and say, say, oh, Baba, I know that I can make it. Lord, I know that I can stand. No matter, no matter, no matter, no matter what comes my way. My life, our lives say in your hands. With Jesus, with Jesus our freedom. We can make it. I am sure I am bold I'm confident that we think we can stand because no matter what comes my way, 
I am Sata here. Oh, my love is in your hands. No matter what comes our way, our lives is in his hands. I know that I can make it. I am sure and I know that I will stand. No matter, no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter, no matter, my sick of no matter what comes my way. My life is in your hands. No matter what may come my way, my life is in his hands. No matter what may come your way, our lives is in his hands. Our life, our lives, my life. It's in the end of Jehovah, our freedom. He made sure of that over 2,000 years ago when he laid down his life so that we could be saved, so that we could be free, so that we could be at liberty. Liberty from sin and everything that may want to hold us bound. We are free in him. All we need to do is lift our hands up and ask him to come into our lives. Just lift your hands up right now, this moment, for the next two minutes. Why don't you lift your hands up to the God, our Christ, who is our freedom. Everything that you know that is holding you bound, whether flesh or spirit or power, in heaven, in heart, underneath the earth, no matter where they're hiding, he is able, he is able, exceedingly able, abundantly able to set us free. Hallelujah. No matter what, what may come our way, our lives are in his. He masa yi karibo sheta ye kamasa yi. Hey, I will say my yakarabase. I say no matter. From every strong hold, every strong man, everyone that thinks they are too powerful for you, everyone that has dominion over us, every strong hold, everyone that wants to sit over our heads, every stubborn spirit, every power in hard places. Every angry war of the enemy, that want to sit and say they have power. All you need to do is lift your hands and say, I know that I can make it. I know that I, I can stand. No matter. No matter what may come my way, my life, my life is in His hands. Hallelujah. No matter, no matter what may come my way, I know, I know my life is in His Hallelujah. We have to stand on the promises of God to us in his words. It is not one that we learned when he has spoken. He makes sure that it comes to pass. When he says it's our freedom, he is our freedom from anyone and anything that may stand to be a problem in our way, a stumbling block, an endurance, anything in our way. You crushed it. Kama se karibo she karima santa karaba. I know that I 
committed. I know that I can stand. No matter what I say, I'm a seeking a boss. I say no matter what may come my way. My life is in His hands. Hallelujah. My life. Your life, our lives, are in His hands. Kabo sekeri ma sekaba ba. Hallelujah. So stand on the promises of God this afternoon, and reminding of His words to you. Standing, standing. Standing on the promises of Christ, my Savior. I'm standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of Christ, my King, to eternal ages, let His praises ring. Glory in the highest, I will shout and I will sing. Standing on the promises of my God, I am standing, standing, oh yes, I'm standing, I'm standing, standing on the promises of God, my Savior. Oh, I'm standing, I'm standing, I am standing. I am standing on the promises of my God. Hallelujah. Standing on the promises that cannot fail. When the only storms of doubt and fear are still. By the living word of God, I shall prevail. I'm standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of Christ the Lord. Bound to him eternally by love's strong cord. Overcoming daily with the spirit, the spirit soul. I am standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises, I cannot fail. Listening every moment to the spirit call. Resting in my Savior's as my heart, he know I am standing on the promises of God. I'm standing, Lord Jesus, standing, I'm standing, standing, standing on the promises of Christ, my Savior, standing, standing. I'm standing on the promises of God. Hallelujah. We are standing on the promises of Christ, our Savior. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. I've been changed. Pray. Heal. Deliver. Oh, I found joy. 
this great and favor and right now is the moment today is the day I've been changed I am free I've been changed I am free I've been changed I won't go back, never going back to the way it used to be before your presence came and freed me. I won't go back, never going back to the way it used to be before your freedom came and changed me. Let that be your testimony this afternoon. That after this afternoon, that the Lord has met with you, you will not go back to the way it used to be in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. You are my father. You are my freedom. The authority over my life. In you, I have liberty of purpose. You are my strength. You are my stabilizer. You are my strong tower. You are my peace and my shalom. You are mighty in power. Excellent savior. Excellent deliverer. Wonderful. Counselor. Mighty God. Everlasting God. You hold my word together. You hold me in the palm of your hands. You keep me safe. You are my heaven, my shelter, my refuge, my security. You are my protector, my anchor. You are the pillar that holds my life. You are my everything. You hold my word in your hands. You hold me by the end and you lead me on the safety path. You are the captain of my life. You calm every storm in my life. You bring down every mountain. You level every valley. You are the anchor of my soul. I am anchored to you. I am secured in you. I am fearless. I am bold. I am confident. I have freedom. In you I live. In you I move. In you I have my being. Thank you for the opportunity to know you and the privilege, the privilege to become your own. In Jesus' name, amen. My freedom, my exceeding great reward. Who else will I worship? <laughs> Who else will I praise? Who else will I love but the one that set me free? The one that died on the cross of Calvary the one that loves me, the one that cares about me. Oh, my redeemer, my savior, my strong tower, my refuge, my rock of salvation. Oh, the Bible says, they that trust in God shall be like Mount Zion, <laughs> which can never be moved, but abides forever. Oh, my rock, my sure foundation. Oh, I worship you, lion of the tribe of Judah. I give you praise, almighty God. There is no one beside you. There is no one like you. There is no one, oh Lord almighty, like you. You are my yesterday. You are my today. You are my forevermore. Almighty God, I give you praise. King of glory, who is like unto you, oh Lord, amongst the gods, who is like you? You are glorious in holiness. You are fearful in praises, always doing wonders. Oh, we give you praise, O oh Lord. We give you glory, honor, and majesty. You are the lion of the tribe of Judah. You are the rock of ages. You are the consuming fire. You are the God of Abraham. You are the God of Isaac. You are the God of Israel. You are the God of Olan Rewaju Owosheni Lawa. You are from everlasting to everlasting. You have no beginning. You have no ending. I worship your majesty. I worship your sovereignty. I worship your supremacy. Only you are God. Nothing can change it. Forever you remain the same. I worship you. 
my God, my strength, my helper, the only father, the only one of Israel, my God, my time, my powerhouse, the judge of all, the just and mighty one, the light of the world, my protector, the righteous father, my God and my king, my Lord, my king, the host of heaven, the omnipotent, omniscient God, my buckler, my fortress, my dwelling place, the horns of my salvation, the lifter of my head, my glory, my song, my refuge, my rock, my shield, the strength of my life, the oxygen that I breathe in, the host of heaven, the captain in battle, the master physician, the victorious God, my hope, my helper, the God of all, my comforter, the God of all grace, the Holy Spirit, the jealous God, the avenging God, the God of peace, the compassionate God, the Holy Spirit, the rock of ages, my deliverer, the Lord of peace. Oh Lord, I thank you. Thank you for this hour. Thank you for your presence among us. Thank you for my yesterday, today, and tomorrow. Thank you for healing power. Thank you for the presence of the Holy Spirit. May your name continually to be glorified among us and forevermore through Christ Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Awesome God. Awesome God. You are the prison door opener. Yes. You are the one that sets us free. Hallelujah. You hold the keys of David in your hand. And what you open, no man can shut. You open the door to shalom, to my peace. You open the door to my provision. You open the door to my healing. You open the door to my salvation. You open the door to my promotion. Yes, lifter of my head. That's who you are. The God who blesses me and no man can curse me. You are the cure to all incurable diseases. Hallelujah. You are wonderful. You are my counselor. You are my my almighty God. You are my everlasting Papa. You are the Prince of Peace throughout eternity. Uncreated creator, mightier than the mightiest, greater than the greatest, and stronger than the strongest. The Lion of the tribe of Judah the true and faithful one, the soul winner by excellence, the horn of my salvation, my pool of Bethesda, my city of refuge, my food and my water, my manna falling from heaven, the ruler over all powers, principalities in heaven and in earth. We worship you today. We worship you today. We exalt you, our deliverer. Come and deliver us today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. He's an awesome God. Freedom, freedom. Everyone wants to be free. Teenagers want to be free. So they count the days to when they can move out from their parents' house. People want to be free from credit card debt, from hospital bills, from college loans. People want to be free from drugs, alcohol, violence. Hallelujah. Prisoners are waiting to finish their sentence so that it can be free. More than a state of being, freedom is a person. Today, 
we present to you Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who sets you and I free from sin by dying on the cross for us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. We bless you. Hallelujah. Our chains are gone. Our dead is pain. The cross has overthrown the grave. For Jesus' blood that sets me free means death to death and life for me. My chains are gone, my dead is paid, the cross has overthrown the grave. For Jesus' blood that sets me free means death to death and life for me. I give my whole life to honor this love. By the lamp who was slain, I am forgiven. The sinner Savior, crown him forever. For the Lamb who was slain, he is risen. I give my whole life to honor this love. By the Lamb who was slain, I am forgiven. The sinner Savior, crown him forever. For the Lamb who was slain, he is risen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Friends, today I want to look at, a, look at a passage in John 8, 1. And it says, Jesus returned to the Mount of Olives. But early the next morning, he was back again at the temple. A crowd soon gathered and he sat down and taught them. As he was speaking, the teachers of religious law and the Pharisees brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd. Teacher, they said to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses said to stone her. What do you say? Friends, when we look at another passage, two passages in the Bible to look at the law of Moses, Leviticus 20.10 and Deuteronomy 22.22, they prescribed the death penalty for couples who committed adultery. However, the Pharisees who have brought this woman to Jesus have only accused half of the guilty parties, the woman alone, no mention of the man. They were trying to trick Jesus. Verse six reads, they were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him later. But Jesus stooped down and wrote in the dust with his finger. They kept demanding an answer. So he stood up again and said, all right, but let the one who has never seen throw the first stone. Then he stooped down again and wrote in the dust. It's possible friends that Jesus was writing this very laws that this man claimed to be following in order to highlight the hypocrisy Perhaps he wrote the names of the accusing Pharisees and their own sins on the ground. 
what exactly he was writing, we do not know. What we do know is that Jesus successfully answers this dilemma and this woman was set free. Yes, today we are here to talk about freedom that only Jesus gives. Friends, today we pray for you. May the Lord Jesus Christ stoop down right now and answer every accuser in your life. Whether the accuser shows up as sickness, as worry, as anxiety, as challenge, as problem today, may the Lord stand up for you, defend you, and set you free completely. May he write down your freedom decree today that will cause all your accusers to scatter seven ways in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Alone in my sorrow and dead to my sin. Lost with a hope with no place to begin. Your love made a way to let mercy come in. When death was arrested and my life began. For this woman that day, death was arrested. Stoning leads to death. If these religious leaders had stoned her, the end of her would have been death. But Jesus came and Jesus arrested death. Jesus put chains around death and let her go free. So her death was exchanged for her freedom that day. I pray that it is your testimony today, that your death is exchanged for your freedom in Jesus' name. Oh, your grace, so free, washes over me. You have made me new now. Life begins with you. Ooh, it's your endless love pouring down on us. You have made us new now. Life begins with you. Ooh. Release from my chains, I'm a prisoner no more. Oh. My shame was a ransom, he faithfully born. He canceled my debt and he called me his friend. When death was arrested and my life began. Oh, what grace so free washes over me. You have made me new now. Life begins with you. It's your endless love pouring down on me. You have made me new now. Life begins with you. Oh, we're free, free, forever we're free. Come join the song of all the redeemed. Yes, we're free, free, forever, amen. When death was arrested and my life began, oh, we're free, free, forever we're free. Come join the song of all the redeemed. Yes, we're free, we're free, forever, amen. When death was arrested and my life began, when death was arrested and my life began, when death was arrested 
and my life began. Hallelujah. When death was arrested and my life began for me, that was 20 years ago. And I pray that for, to, for you, that will be today. For today is the day of salvation. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. I go back to the text in verse 9. It says, when the accusers heard this, when the accusers heard that, that who has no sin to cast out the first stone, they, skip, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with this woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? She answered, no, Lord. And Jesus said, neither do I. Go and see no more. And friends, this is good news for you and for me. Today, Jesus is telling you and I, go and see no more. Hallelujah. This is his message for the world today. Go and sin no more. Hallelujah. Friends, today we are standing before the throne of the one who has the power to say go and sin no more. We are standing before the throne of the one who is able to grant us mercy and grace beyond our faults, beyond our sin. You have come before the one who is able to set our soul free from the accusation of the enemy, from sin and from death. Hallelujah. Yes, this woman deserved death according to the law of Moses, but according to the law of Jesus, she deserved mercy and you deserve mercy today. That same mercy is extended to you freely. If you need this mercy today, if you recognize your need for Jesus today, do not delay. Surrender to him. Surrender to him. Hallelujah. Lord, I confess. Lord, I come. Bowing down. I find my rest. Without you, I fall apart. You're the one that guides my heart. Lord, I need you. Oh, I need you. Every hour. I need you, my one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. Where sin runs deep, your grace is more. Where grace is found is where you are, where you are, Lord, I am free, holiness is Christ in me, Lord, I need you, oh, I need you. Every hour I need you, my one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need you. You're my one defense, my righteousness. Oh God, how I need.
need you. Hallelujah. And friends, if this message is speaking to you, that yes, I need this Jesus in my life. I need someone to defend me in the presence of my enemies. I need someone to stand for me in the presence of my accusers. You have come to the right place. You have come to Jesus. Please repeat these words after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I thank you for this invitation to come and receive my freedom today. Freedom from pain, freedom from accusation, freedom of back talking, freedom of backstabbing, freedom from every type of accusers today. Oh, I open the gates of my heart to you. Come and be my personal Lord and Savior. Forgive me for the wrongs that I've done. Forgive me from all of my sins, all the things that I've done that is not pleasing to you. I ask for your forgiveness. And today, I hear your voice. I hear your message. And I choose, just like this woman, to go and not to sin anymore. So Holy Spirit, come and help me to be a true follower of Jesus Christ. It's in Jesus' name that I have prayed today. Amen and amen. And friends, if you've prayed this prayer, congratulations to you. Welcome to the family of God, where you have many brothers and sisters. We pray that you will find a Bible believing and a Bible teaching church in your community, that you will be connected to the local body so that you can grow and be strong in your faith. And that in those days, when the accusers come, against you. You will be able to stand knowing that you are the best defender on your side, that you have Jesus on your side, and that as you call on his name, your accusers from the oldest to the youngest have to flee because they obey the voice of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for these ones that have heard your call today. We thank you for these ones that have surrendered their souls to you. Father, keep them in your bosom. Keep them under your protection. Do not allow the enemy to steal what you have done in their lives today. Father, we bless them. Father, we say you keep them. You cover them. Hallelujah that they may grow and become strong in their faith. And Father, on that last day, when the trumpet sound, that we may all rejoice in your presence forevermore. In Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah, hallelujah. And friends, we ask that you email us. Our email is a help to inspire at gmail.com and let us know that you have taken this step of faith today, that you have given your soul to King Jesus. We love to get to know you, to celebrate with you what the Lord has begun in your life today. You can find us on all social media you'll find all of our social medias in the description below this uh, broadcast we are on youtube on facebook on twitter and on instagram and we have our website which is phhworld.com so the letters phh the word world Dot com And there you can leave us a note on our contact page and we will get back to you and get to celebrate what the Lord has started in your life today. Be blessed. Bye for now. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise God. Hallelujah. Wow. What a freedom. Hallelujah. Go and sin no more. Yes. That's all. He said, is there anything else you need to do? No. 
He has given you an open check. You are free from the judgment of sin. Just as that woman was free from the condemnation, just as that woman was free, Jesus Christ set her free. So you are free. Go connect to a Bible-believing church. Go and be established in this freedom and enjoy the freedom that he has brought for you. Freedom in every aspect of life. Freedom in every area of life. Freedom from addiction. Freedom from violence. Freedom from evil. Freedom from sin. Freedom from every Mary clay. Freedom from sicknesses, from afflictions. Freedom from every satanic stronghold. Freedom from yokes that are too difficult for humans to deal with. Freedom beyond the walls of the hospital. Freedom beyond, beyond the walls of the court. Freedom beyond justice of the justice system of this world. Oh, freedom from the master. What a marvelous freedom that we have. What, what a glorious freedom that we have. Even the, the Bible says in first in 2 Corinthians 6, 2, for he says, in the time of my favor, I heard you. And in the day of salvation, I helped you. I tell you now is the time of God's favor. Now is the day of salvation. Hallelujah. Psalm 69 verse 13 says, but my prayer to you, O Lord, is for a time of favor. In your abundant loving devotion, O God, answer me with your sure salvation. Sure salvation. Salvation is here from the almighty God. Jesus has set me free. Why should I be bound? Hallelujah. He has set me free. Why should I be bound? You are free. Free indeed. Free indeed. Jesus has broken every yoke. No more sorrow. No more pain again. You are free. You are free indeed. You are free to do the will of God. You are free to serve the almighty God. You are free to be a child of God. You are free to be a Christian. You are free to live a life of righteousness. You are free to live a life of holiness. You are free to serve the master. You are free to serve the king of kings and the Lord of lords, the rock of ages, the one who brings true freedom. Did you hear the story of that lady, Leah, that was captured? you know, by, 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 the, by the abductors. And they said, oh, you will be free if, 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 if only you can deny Jesus. And guess what Leah said? Leah said, I am already free. Jesus Christ says, I am free. So I am free indeed. So freedom comes from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Go and enjoy the freedom of the almighty God. We just want to appreciate the King of glory, the one who has given us freedom. We want to appreciate this awesome God. He has been awesome in our midst. He has been our rock. He has been the, the, he has been the God of the hour. He has indeed been an Holy Spirit soaking room experience. And we come to say, you are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we raise. You've been awesome in our midst, mighty God. As we come into your presence, past the gates of grace, into your sanctuary, till we stand in face to face. We look upon your countenance and we see the fullness of your grace. And we can only bow down and say, you've been awesome in our midst, mighty God. 
you've been awesome in our midst. Abba Father, you are worthy of our praise. To you our lives we raise. You've been awesome in this place, mighty God. Go in the freedom of the almighty God. Thank you for joining us. We love to see you again next Sunday. We love you here at PHH. But remember, Christ loves you the more. Go and enjoy the freedom that Jesus Christ has given unto you. Yes, Jesus Christ has set you free. He has set you free from sin and shame. He has set you free from every form of accusation. He has set you free. And you are free indeed. He that the Son has set free shall be free indeed. In the mighty name of Jesus, hold on to your freedom in Christ Jesus. Hold on to his word. Hold on to his promises. That song says, standing on the promises of God. One of the promises of God is that you are free. Hold on to that promise all the time. Declare it, speak it, may <clears throat> voice it out that I am free. Jesus has set me free. I am free. Why should I be bound? I am being set free by the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Have a blessed week, and we wish you a, a happy new month as you journey into the sixth month of the year. The almighty God will journey with you in the name of Jesus. Be blessed and have a glorious week. And don't forget to like, to share, to subscribe, to share this good news of freedom with all your loved ones. Yes, freedom is ours because Jesus Christ laid down his life life because he paid the price for our freedom it's the price has already been paid you don't need to pay any other price all you need to do is to accept this freedom accept this freedom that jesus christ has given unto you and begin to walk in that freedom begin to walk exercise that freedom freedom in christ freedom over sin. Tell sin that sin, you don't have any power over me anymore. You don't have any control of over my life anymore. The blood has been shed. The blood has been shed for me. I live a life of righteousness. I live a life of holiness. Hold on to the word of God. Hold on to the promises of Christ Jesus. He said he will be with your going out. He will be with your coming in. He said he will be, he will, he will be your shelter. He said he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. There are so many promises in the word of God for you. Go and enjoy the promises of God. Go and enjoy the freedom that is in Christ. The freedom that no cause of law can give. That only the Savior can give the one who shed his blood, the one who has paid the price. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, King of glory. We are grateful for this freedom. Thank you so much. You laid down your life in order for us to be free. Oh, we are grateful unto you. Thank you, our blessed Redeemer. Thank you, Lord. We have come to the end of our broadcast tonight. It's as if the hour should not finish. But guess what? Jesus loves you. Have a blessed week, and we will see you again next week Sunday, enjoying and basking in the freedom that Christ has brought for us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>